like here in Colombia, it's affecting countries around the world. Climate change, lack of water, worries about food security. How to solve that puzzle? How much can technology help in growing rice, a leading staple for Colombians? In this edition of Global Japan, we're here to see how Japanese researchers have brought agro-technology from home and are working with their local colleagues to develop new kinds of rice as well as boost efficiency using IoT. Our road trip begins from Bogota to a research center in Saldana. We descend to Colombia's rice-growing heartland, facing an overly wet rainy season and increasingly dry summers. It's here where researchers are working on a public-private project co-funded by the Japan International Cooperation Agency, or JICA, part of a century-old relationship between the two countries. We develop genetic types that have a better possibility of growing, with the objective that we can maintain cultivation in Colombia in the future, with less water consumption to produce Colombian rice. So, let's go see how they do that out in the field. The center, run by the Colombian Rice Growing Association Fede Arroz, is using the Ikakashi monitoring system built by the Japanese company PS Solutions, using an app and the Internet of Things. These sensors are installed on the surface of the soil and under the soil about 10 centimeters deep, which allows us to monitor the soil and water temperature to make better decisions. Also, there are sensors around the equipment that allow us to determine what's happening in real time. And with that data, we're able to make better decisions. With the online app, he discusses the data with a farmer who works with her three sons growing rice and limes. We use less water. Yes, it consumes less water. The climate has changed a lot. The temperature, the sun is very hot. So they developed this type of rice to resist this environment, this warming that is taking place. On to Ibagué, to a farm that's been growing the new breeds of rice from Saldana. Just how effective are they? We talked to a Japanese agricultural engineer who's lived here for nearly a decade. A modern-day version of farmers who first came from Japan nearly a century ago. Special rice is 5% uh, uh, more productivity. We can save 20% uh, of the water. But extreme weather, heavy rains, prevented the planting this time. So we're going to plant the seeds, but you have to check the, the water. Yeah, content. before. Uh -huh. yeah. Very important. And, uh -huh. Yeah, and it's it's showing that there's there's too much water. There's mm -hmm. been too much rain. Too much rain, so yeah. Uh -huh. All the more reason for more technology to cope with the climate. Colombia is a model. Colombian rice farmer is uh, very active and uh, very interested in the new technology. Ogawa says the Ikakashi monitoring system costs about 9,000 euros per farm, but many growers can benefit from it now. The future way, uh, we will uh, share the data uh, uh, from the collected, collected data from Ikakashi for the all farmer in Colombia. Ogawa has been working with farmer and fellow researcher Nicolas Lazerna on this project for the past five years. The Japanese support has been very important, very interesting for us. They have taught us a lot of things of how to, to manage the rice different in a different way than, than we used to do it. They have uh, shown us how we can use less water. And uh, well, they're also introducing us to a lot of uh, new tools. We return to the bustling capital of Bogota to speak with the head of the rice development program at Fede Arroz. At stake is how the country feeds itself in the future. The new techniques could be applied to other crops. We think that as farmers begin to adopt the technologies that we have developed with the Japanese to use less water and use fertilizer, it will be very helpful for the future. It's technology transfer with opportunities, boosting trade and helping ensure food security despite climate change. That's all for now on Global Japan. From all of us here on the Euronews team, we say muchas gracias, thanks for watching, and see you next time.